Okay, well, I'm here with John Fielder. John, it's really nice to be with you. Thank you for giving us your time. John Great is another you. local church minister uh, here in, in Northfield and is the pastor of Redeemer Church, which meets in Oddenley Hall ordinarily, but um, is currently in lockdown like everybody else. John, you're married to Hannah and you've got two daughters as well. So how's it going? How is lockdown? How are you, how are you surviving as a family? How's it going? Yeah, obviously it's, it's different, uh, but we're doing okay. We're doing okay. So the girls are getting into their homeschooling. Um, you know, there's a few moments here and there where it can get a bit tense, but uh, on the whole, we're doing very well and they've done very well kind of getting into that. Um, we've been affected. So my wife's work has been affected. So she's doing slightly different things than she would be otherwise. Um, but on the whole, yeah, we're doing, we're doing well. Thank you. And, um, yeah, kind of getting into the groove of lockdown and all that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I, we've known each other for, for quite a few years now, but, um, what's been nice is that actually in this, in this season, we've kind of both been involved a little bit at least with the um, Northfield Community Partnership. And just, I'd just love to hear your impression of that. Any encouragements from that? That's basically, it's basically um, all the kind of charitable organisations and the community stakeholders gathering to try and be helpful in Northfield. Any, of you, any reflections from you on that? Um, yeah, just mainly that I've been really impressed by it and really glad to be involved and connected in. So, yeah, been very impressed with how they pulled everything together to kind of serve the Northfield area as a whole, to everything, optimise everything, uh, and great to be able to connect in with that. Um, it's been good just particularly connecting with Lois. So I think you guys have connected with as well. She's been very yeah. helpful. And it's just, it's just been great for us to know. Obviously, we've got a, a certain amount of resource, but it's been great to connect in and connect with the food bank uh, and just some of the advice that's there. And it gives us a bit more confidence as well, just to know what well, we can direct people to this, we can direct people to that, we can call on these facilities. So we have we've used numerous things um, via them, which has been good. And it's just been, um, it's just been, I think beneficial to connect in with other organizations and what's been going on and work together. And obviously with you guys as well, who are kind of thoroughly involved there. Um, so yeah, it's been a, a positive, I think experience. Um, I think it'll be good just even as we eventually do come out of this time, whatever that looks like and whenever that is uh, to have some of these relationships as well that we've managed to kind of build up during this time, I think will be beneficial as well. So, so yeah, it's definitely positive and we've certainly been able to, I think, help, certain individuals uh in a way that we would have perhaps struggled to without that um so it's been good and and john redeemer redeemer church is it belongs to a family of churches called new frontiers and within that you belong to a particular group called um the catalyst sphere and i just wondered whether the you know what your impression was of how other churches are coping the churches that you're kind of in a family with how are they surviving? How's, how's the wider picture as far as you can see it in terms of this crisis? Yeah, so again, as well as being connected obviously to local churches like yourselves, we are part of this, this family catalyst, uh, which is across the nation and across the globe. So um, I have been meeting fairly with what's called our hub, uh, which is a group within Catalyst of about 10 to 15 churches across the country um that's when i say meeting meeting virtually obviously and it's been interesting to connect in with them obviously all experiencing similar things some of them are quite large churches them some of them are smaller churches like uh us at redeemer uh, but similar issues uh, obviously across the nation and kind of thinking things through praying things through how can we best serve uh our church community and our wider communities but through catalyst we're also connected to churches around the world and um, it's a privilege to be connected. It's also some very real needs around the globe. So this last week or two, Catalyst have set up a crisis fund um, for churches and communities, um, you know, outside of the UK. And just hearing just how uh, the whole situation, the coronavirus is hitting those churches and those communities is, is quite devastating, really, uh, and very and quite heartbreaking. So. Um, just obviously these nations, nations like Nigeria and Pakistan and, and many other nations just don't have perhaps the economy that we have, don't have um, the health service that we have. And 
lots of them do live, uh, these people live hand to mouth and some just very real needs there. So, um, so yeah, praying for them and looking to see how we can connect in with those churches and, uh, and, and give there as well where we can. So yeah, lots kind of going on. Well, we'd love to join you in prayer for that. Absolutely. In a few moments time. And before I let you go, John, just for you as a church family, how can we be praying for you guys? And have you any particular challenges or encouragements you were just talking before we kind of um, hit record about your uh, your virtual uh, coffee morning this morning and stuff but I don't know if there's anything in particular you want to share that we can be praying into that'd be great yeah um so I think probably as as things continue we as a church we initially we started talking about uh, when this, this whole thing started we talked about guts quite a lot and encouraging Jesus um, and as things continue we started to talk more about grit endurance or perseverance from Jesus um, and, and I think as it as it continues uh, it hits people more deeply I think some people started off kind of okay uh, and as it goes on it's hitting them and it's becoming more of an issue I think some people uh, perhaps it hit them harder when it started and they're getting more used to it. Um, but it's, it's, it's up and down for people. So just to continue to pray for people um, and a real kind of godly uh, Jesus based, grace based endurance uh, that comes from, you know, a real joy in God's would be, would be great to pray for that. I think specifically um, for courage, for those who you know, financially employment wise, things are very uncertain. Very mm. for that. Um, also perhaps for comfort real comforting in God for those who have lost loved ones or who are ill um and as a whole that we as a, as a church we remain on mission together in this we don't lose sight of the mission of why we're here um and we don't lose sight of Jesus we keep focused on him would be great um and then also that global picture would be great as well um yeah. so I think that's yeah a few things well, thank you so much, John. John, we, we love you guys and we're very thankful that we're neighbours and we'll be praying for you. And uh, once lockdown's over, you know, we'll uh, be able to kind of do this kind of thing in person instead. Thanks so much for being with us. Yeah, uh, pleasure to be with you. And can I just say how much, yeah, we love you guys. We're for you guys and we are praying for you guys. So yeah, keep going for it. Doing what you're doing. and we're hearing good things as well about crossways again through this whole Northfield community partnership thing we've we've heard good things so um yeah keep going for it guys bless you thanks john